Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the latest update from the KDE project, KDE Gear 24.05.1. This is the first point release to the KDE Gear 24.05 software suite, which is part of the KDE Plasma desktop environment. If you're using KDE Plasma on your desktop or any other platform, you're in for some great news with a bunch of improvements and fixes. So, let's break it down. First off, let's quickly talk about what KDE Gear is. KDE Gear is a collection of applications and libraries created by the KDE community. These tools are designed to make your computing experience better, whether you're listening to music, taking screenshots, or editing videos. The KDE Gear suite includes apps like Eliza, a music player, Spectacle, a screenshot tool, KCalc, a calculator, and many others. Let's start with Eliza, the music player. If you love listening to music, this update has some good news for you. Previously, Eliza will crash if you try to add folders that didn't have any music files in them. That's fixed now, so no more annoying crashes when you're organizing your music library. Another issue with Eliza was that on some Linux setups, the player wouldn't launch due to some specific DBus configurations. DBus is a system for software applications to communicate with one another. Eliza had trouble with certain configuration, but that's now sorted out. And for Windows users, Eliza wasn't starting up because it was missing a Windows integration library. That issue is also fixed, so Windows users can enjoy Eliza without any hiccups. Next up, let's talk about Spectacle, the screenshot utility. If you use Spectacle to take screenshot, you'll be happy to hear that the highlight annotation feature now works as it should. Before, it may not have been doing what you expected, but that's all fixed now. Highlighting part of your screenshot will be smoother and more reliable. For those who use AudioTube to access YouTube Music, there is an update here too. AudioTube now supports IT Music Copy 1.7.0. This means better compatibility and possibly new features, making your music streaming experience better. Moving on to FileLite, the disk usage visualization tool. There is a helpful update. FileLite used to count file stores in OneDrive cloud storage as if they were taking up space on your local disk. This could be confusing because you may think you're running out of space when you're not. Now FileLite correctly ignores these cloud store files, giving you a more accurate view of your disk usage. K-Color Chooser The Color Picker tool also got an update. The Pick Screen Color button now works on Wayland. Wayland is a display server protocol that's becoming more popular as a replacement for X11. If you're using Wayland, you can now pick colors from your screenshot without any issues. For the gamers out there, K-Blocks, the classic Falling Blocks game, has a new feature. It now supports teams that are packed in subdirectories. This means you can customize the look of the game more easily by using teams that are organized in folders. If you use KCalc, the calculator app, you'll appreciate this fix. KCalc now correctly handles certain mathematical expressions that may have caused problems before. This makes KCalc more reliable for your calculations. Itinerary, the travel assistant app, now supports Amadeus Citric booking confirmations. If you book travel through Amadeus Citric, Itinerary can help you manage those bookings. Additionally, it supports German language variants of Trinitalia tickets, making it more useful for travelers in Germany. For those using KRFB, the remote desktop server, there is a new feature. KRFB now supports the persistent feature of the remote desktop portal. This means better handling of remote desktop sessions, making it easier to connect and stay connected. Localize, the tool used for translating KDE software has an improved language tool. This makes it easier for a translator to do their work, helping to make KDE software available in more languages. NeoChat, the chat app, has a new feature too. It now has keyboard navigation for server selection in the room searching dialog. This makes it easier to navigate and join chat rooms using just your keyboard. Tokodon, the Mastodon client, now supports page up, page down keys for quick navigation. If you're scrolling through your Mastodon timeline, you can now use these keys to move up and down quickly. 
Finally, let's talk about Caden Life, the video editor. This update brings multiple fixes that makes editing videos smoother. Some of the fixes include Improved deletion of effects when you have multiple instances Better handling of dragging new clips into the timeline Fixes for undo redo actions when inserting tracks Improvements to undo actions for moving effects up or down Better management of removing composition from favorites Fixes for deleting subtitles Improved opening of projects All these fixes and improvements mean that Kdin Life will be more stable and reliable for your video editing projects. In summary, KDE Gear 24.05.1 brings a lot of small but significant updates to improve the overall user experience. Whether you're listening to music, taking screenshots, playing games, or editing videos, these updates aim to make your experience smoother and more enjoyable. If you're using KDE Plasma or any of these KDE apps, it's definitely worth updating to KDE Gear 24.05.1. That's it for this one, thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on tutorials on KDE and other Linux topics.